Hi, this is Andrew from True Digital and in this video we're going to take a look at scheduling and scheduling is a really really useful tool for planning your digital signage content and it allows you to choose specific times for that content to play. So there's two areas in which we can schedule, the first is playlists and the second is from within screens. If we decide to schedule within playlists, what this will allow us to do is choose specific times for individual pieces of content to play. So if I jump in here, for example, I could choose when I want each of these creatives to play. That's the first area of scheduling and I'll go into that in more detail in a second. The second area that you can schedule is from within screens. So let's say, for example, I've got this playlist assigned to my screen. Rather than scheduling the individual pieces of content, I can schedule the playlist as a whole. So this might be a good example if, say for example, you've got 10 different Christmas promotional adverts and you want to schedule all of them to play in December. Rather than schedule all of them within playlists, you could just come in here, press the calendar, and you could schedule that entire playlist. And again, I'll, I'll go into this in more detail in a second. So let's just go back to playlists and let's talk about scheduling. So if I hover over one of my playlists and press the pencil icon, that'll open up my playlist and you'll see that I've got five pieces of content in here. To schedule, all I need to do is hover over a particular creative and press the calendar icon. And you'll see now that that creative is set to play forever and it's set to play every day at the minute and that's just the default all that means is that piece of content will always be in the queue with all of these other pieces of content that are also set to play forever. So they're just going to play on a constant loop. Now in terms of scheduling options, there's kind of three layers. So the first is just simply to set an expiry time. So I can set a start date for that content to play and an end date as well. So let's do that now. So if I hit set expire time and you can see this is a Christmas offer piece of content. What I could then do is I could select a start date, so I could choose the 1st of December until the end of December, for example. And if I were to hit OK now, that piece of content would join the queue with all these other pieces of content during the month of December. So let's hit OK, and you'll see it says scheduled. It's important to note that this piece of content, when it's scheduled, it's not going to play on its own during December it will join the queue with any other piece of content that's set to play during that month. So as each of these is set to play forever, this piece of content will just join the queue with those other pieces of content. If you want that piece of content to play on its own, so have it play as the only piece of content during the month of December, I need to schedule these pieces of content to not play during those times. Hope that makes sense. So if I just jump back in here again, so you'll see I've done the start date and expiry time. What I might decide that I want to do is rather than just set the expiry time, I could also set times for that content to play. So let's set an expiry time here and let's repeat this process and do December. But what I can then do is choose a time during December for that content to play. So this might be a good example of say you've got a December menu that's only available during breakfast time. But what I could do is I could have that piece of content obviously scheduled for December and then I can choose a specific time. So I could say go from 8 until 11.59 and that piece of content would play in the morning. Really, really simple. If I hit OK, you'll see it says scheduled as well. So that would play from the 1st of December until the 31st and only play between those times. Really, really simple. The last kind of piece of the puzzle in terms of scheduling is choosing specific days for content to play. So what you might find this particularly common in schools, you might have the same timetable from week to week, but it varies from day to day and you can schedule something like a timetable in or perhaps Monday specials like the example we've got here by clicking weekly and then I can select specific days. So I could choose weekdays for example or I could just leave this on Monday, hit OK and then that piece of content will be scheduled and it will only play on Mondays. It's Monday today so it doesn't say scheduled at the minute. Now each of these layers can be treated, you can either do everything together or you can treat each part individually. So I could just set an expiry time, but I could leave everything else, or I could get more advanced, so I could set my expiry time, 
I could then choose a specific time during those periods and then I could choose specific days. So there's those three layers. You can treat them each independently or you can decide to um, put them all together and get really, really specific with when the content is going to play. So for example, if I just wanted my content to play in the morning but not have an expiry time, leave this on play forever, leave this on every day, but then select a time. Really, really simple. That's kind of the first way that you can schedule. So again, this is for scheduling individual pieces of content, individual posters, individual promotions. But what you can do is schedule entire playlists. And I touched on that at the start. So if I hover over my screen here, so if I hover, hover over this pencil icon, and let's just imagine this playlist, there's no content in it, but let's imagine that this playlist is um, is part of my overall kind of screen schedule and it's assigned to my screen. What I can now do is I can schedule all the pieces of content within this playlist by pressing the calendar icon. And this will bring up exactly the same scheduling options as before, but rather than scheduling those individual pieces of content, I'm scheduling an entire playlist here. So I won't go into each layer because I've explained that in the previous step, but if you wanted to schedule that whole playlist, you could do that here. So my Christmas promotions playlist, let's say it's got 10 posters inside of it, rather than schedule each one, I could simply schedule the entire playlist to play during that time and hit OK and you'll see it says scheduled. This is also a great way of ensuring that only certain pieces of content are playing during those times. So rather than go in and schedule each of these creatives, let's say these creatives within my scheduling demo playlist aren't linked to Christmas at all. Well, I could schedule this playlist to start playing after Christmas. And that way I would know that that first piece of content would play during Christmas and then this playlist would start playing afterwards. Really, really simple. That's kind of scheduling in a nutshell. In my opinion, the kind of most important part of scheduling is actually within playlists. So scheduling individual presentations um, and individual pieces of content like I've done with these. But if you want to, you can schedule playlists as a whole within the Screens tab. Thanks for listening.